Here at Good Shepherd, we want to invite you in 2022 into deeper community. As a congregation, we have a renewed focus on community. Our theme for January and beyond, leading us up to the season of Lent and coming with us through that season into Easter, our theme is going to be Renew. You'll notice in the graphic that the re is in parentheses. If your church has done something in the past that you would love to see happen again, we want you to reintroduce it to us. New is not in parentheses. If you want to see your church do something, we want to hear about it. Our theme as we go into this time of renewal as a congregation is inspired by the Spirit, led by the people. The Spirit moves us into places and opportunities that we may not expect. In this time of renewal, those opportunities are going to be led by you, the people. We don't know what that small group you are looking for is, but we want to know about it. So if there's something that you are interested in, over the next few weeks as you come to church, you are going to have an opportunity to put that idea down on a piece of paper. We're going to have three themes for you to offer ideas upon. We are going to have fellowship. If you have a group that you want to happen that is really just a time of social gathering, we want to hear about it. Education. If you want to do a book study or a Bible study or something else that may be education-based, we want to hear about it. The third category is service. If you are missing that service aspect in your life of faith, and think that there may be people like you who are longing for that service opportunity, we want to hear about it. The fourth category is the one we haven't thought of, and that will just be random. If it doesn't fall under fellowship or education or service, but it's something that you want to do, we want to know about it. And we encourage you to share that idea with us. The big part about this is, again, that it is going to be people-led. It isn't going to be for you to say, hey, church, I want you to make this happen for me. But rather, hey, church, this is something that we could benefit from as people of faith. And I want you all to join me. So as you put your idea for a small group on that paper, it's something that you are committed to being a part of making happen. One of those opportunities that we invite you in is going to be a time of study. Starting on Sunday, January 9th, we are going to have three opportunities each week for you to take part in a Bible study called Old and New as we work our way through the book of Genesis. The, word, the opportunities are going to be on Sunday mornings that, uh, during our fellowship time. Our target group, but not limited to group, is our parents. Parents, your kids are going to be in faith formation at that time, so we invite you as parents uh, into a time of Bible study with people who are in the same phase of life that you are. Our next opportunity is going to be our Wednesday morning Bible study at 11 a.m. This is going to be a virtual uh, or a hybrid opportunity. If you are more comfortable in this, in this period of life that, that is COVID, uh, if you are more comfortable and feel more safe staying at home, we are going to have a hybrid Zoom option where you will be able to join those who are gathered in the fellowship hall for this time of study. Following that uh, study, we're going to stick with our normal Wednesday schedule and, and have a time of lunch together spaced out in our fellowship hall, and we encourage you and invite you to join us for that. The third opportunity of the week is going to be on Wednesday evenings at 6.30. That will be a Zoom option. So we've got one in-person option at, at, uh, during our fellowship time on Sunday morning. We have a hybrid option at 11 a.m. on Wednesday mornings and a virtual option at 6.30 p.m. on Wednesday evenings. We invite you to find deeper community. We are going to focus on the relationships that make us church. We are going to be building community that is new, but community that will last. Finding relationships with people we didn't know were a part of our church or strengthening those relationships that we've been a part of for years. 
We hope you will join us, your church, in this time of renewal as people of faith. We are daily reborn and washed in the waters of baptism. And we invite you to explore what that means for us as people of faith. We hope you will join us. There is a place for you here, whatever that idea that you have might be. We want to hear.